Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. And just for the one I'm doing it for, I changed all your blue lines to black. And there's a couple little things I'd go in there and fix with your shape tool. You know, maybe just hit that, delete it, make it a little bit, clean it up a little bit. There might be some other spots. But he was acting, he was asking about the mesh full fill tool. And he's going to do this on acrylic. And I really don't know if it's going to work on acrylic uh, because of the fact that it's once you the laser touches it, I don't think you're going to be able to tell the difference between a light and a dark fill once it touches it. My suggestion, first of all, would be to do a test just to see if it works and you could draw your rectangle and take your smart fill tool and fill it in. And instead of using the Mesh fill, I would select, I would think use the interactive fill and just draw you a line, something like that, and then go test that on some scrap acrylic. You don't have to make it quite that big, but just see if you can tell the difference. Because if you can't, I don't think it's going to do you any good, you know, by doing this. So to do this dragon, and I would leave a lot of it clear and um, just have your outline. And I would take some objects of it and fill it in. So to make this work, I've got my nudge factor set on uh, 0 0.75 to get out of the way. I'm gonna make some objects. So I'm just gonna fill that in and I'm gonna move it over. And you could do a lot of them or do just a few, uh, you know, maybe his tail but, but you'd, you'd really gonna have to do some tests. And then what I would do, I would take my interactive field tool and go from one corner to the next one and kind of get what you're looking for. Somehow I've got that set on white and uh, let's set it on something darker. Well, it's doing one I hadn't touched yet. Let me back up here. Let me back up a few more steps. See, it was doing that. I must have had that one selected. So let's select this one. Go to your interactive fill tool and get you some variations of the color. I would zoom in. Your outline is going to be to find the color. But if you grab your tool, you can always change it and make it lighter. You can move this, make it darker in one end, move this slide bar, um, move your whole object, move your slide bar back. And that's what you're trying to get. And like I said before, I don't know if it's gonna work on acrylic. But once you have it done, and you could test that, go to your eyedropper tool and hit your attribute eyedropper, sample that one and put it here. You could all do all the same at the same time instead of having to try to redo that. And see, I don't like that at all. Maybe you could go back to the interactive fill tool on this one. Let me see if we can select it. We got it selected. I don't do this very much. You would definitely want to go past his tail. And, you know, you could turn it the opposite way too and uh, make his leg look a little different, put a little more light or dark. You can always do this by whoop, selecting a color or bring a color in to this and make that darker and make your slide. As a laser engraver, we don't do much with this, and especially on acrylic, I really don't know how it's gonna respond. If this was wood, you might be able to see a difference. Then you could just take all those and Nudge them right back over. Pretty cool effect. And then nudge your hairline to cut out your acrylic. So like I said, I would do that and, and run a test because I'm, I'm afraid, even though this is lighter, the laser is going to engrave it and it's going to all look frosted. And when you shine your light through it, uh, you're not going to have much choice. Anyway, I hope that answered his question. Thank you for watching.